Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. And what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through the Polonex, Poloniex uh, platform. And I'm going to refer to it as Polo from now on because that's what a lot of people do uh, to save them tripping over the words. This is just another cryptocurrency exchange. And it's a very popular exchange. It's really grown in popularity in the last few months as more and more people get into trading cryptocurrencies. Um, another one that is very popular is um, Britex which I just shot a video on before this and just to show you that blog post has gone live and the video is there that's a step by step on how to trade on Bitrix so Poloniex there will be a similar blog post for this year which will be linked down below make sure you check that out and also if this is my first video that you've seen make sure you subscribe give the video a like and share at the end if you feel you've got some value from it so here we are on the actual exchange you can see this one here is for SIA coin. Over on the right hand side here is your markets. So you have a Bitcoin market, an Ethereum, an XMR, and you have your USDT. So within each of these, you can see a different number of coins. And the price for any of these coins in the different markets is the price of that particular coin against whichever market you're looking at. So I'm gonna stick with Bitcoin for now, as you can see. The majority of coins are on Bitcoin. <clears throat> so we will we'll stick with SIA coin for, for this example. Uh, you can see there's the current price. You can change any of these as well. Just click on them here and it brings up the new chart. We'll go with SIA coin. So the latest price is up here. The 24 hour change. So how the currency has gone either up or down in the last 24 hours. You can see we're down minus 1.5%. 24 hour high and the 24 hour low. So you can see not a whole lot of movement really there. Uh, as we come on down then you can see here is your actual chart. So you can see your candles. It looks in that form as a bit of a downtrend. Anyone not familiar with candles? The green is where the market's going up and red is where it's going down. You can do some small things here. You can put on your Fibonacci levels, some moving averages, Bollinger Bands. Again, it's very limited to what you can put on your charts here. Uh, Coin, Coinigy is a better platform for analyzing your charts. It lets you do an awful lot more stuff with your charts if you want to get deeper into analysis. As you come on down then, you can see the zoom is just how much of the chart you want to see. So if you want to see two weeks, one week, whatever it is, then the candlestick is, you can have it as 30 minute candlesticks, you can have two hour. So that means that how much um, each of these candles are. So we'll leave it on the four hours. So each of these is four hours. Then the next part is actually buying and selling the coin. So buy see a coin, you can see at the minute, I have no Bitcoin within this exchange. So I can't actually buy any, but I do have some see a coin. So I will show you a sell. The price is the price that you're willing to pay per see a coin. So you put that in here, you can put in any price you want. If you put in the current market price, more than likely your uh, buy order will be executed straight away. If you put in a price, we'd say if I put in a price of 500, which is a bit below the current market price, and I wanted, we'd say 1,000 SIA coins, it would cost me 0 0.005. What would happen there is that would go into an open order, and then when the market comes down, or well, I should say, if the market comes down and hits this price, my buy order would then be executed and the system would buy 1,000 uh, SIA coin for me. The opposite then on the sell, you can see that I have some SIA coin here. Um, the highest bid at the minute is 591. So I could try and sell some of them straight away if I wanted. Uh, you put in the price that you're willing to accept as a sell price. I'm gonna put in 600. So if the market hits 600, then it's gonna sell 100 SIA coin for me. And the value that I would get would be 0 0.0006. Mm, that might be too small, but we'll see now in a minute. So what I would do is click sell. And what happens then is when the market hits this price here, that it will automatically sell 100 SIA coins for me. And this is the amount of Bitcoin I will get for that. So you can see here, the order has been placed to sell 100 SIA coin at that price. 
and where that appears is down here so you can see I was doing another test order earlier that's one I done earlier for 650 I'm gonna cancel that one now just to show you okay so I can see there's my one for 600 for 100 see a coin and that's the one that I have just placed there now yeah so the other one's cancelled for sorry it's after cancelling the 600 one but I want to cancel them all anyway but this is where you see any open orders you can see now I have no open orders left so if you don't any buy orders they would appear there as well stop limit is where you get a little bit more complex and when you're first starting out, I don't recommend you do the stop limits, but they are very good once you get more familiar with the platform. Basically what a stop limit allows you to do is you can preset a buy or sell order to come into effect when the market passes a certain value. So the stop is the value that you want to want it to come into effect at. So I could say that I want, uh, where am I? Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this value here. Save me typing it. So when or if the market goes below 500, then I want to set my limit. I'm gonna say a buy limit. So if it goes below 500, then I want to buy some SIA coin when it goes to 550. So this means that when it goes below 500, this buy order then comes into effect. So the price that I want to buy at is 550. So basically when this goes below 500, then this order is gonna become valid. So when the market or if the market comes back up to 550, I will then buy, uh, I would say 1000 SIA coin. So if I done that as a buy, then that's what's gonna happen. If I done that as a sell, then what's gonna happen is when the market goes below 500, then this comes into effect. So if it came back up and touched uh, 550 after going below 500, then it would automatically sell 1000 SIA coin for me. Hope that makes sense. Um, if not, ask me questions in the comments down below. I'll also explain that section a bit more in the blog post because that's a little bit more complex. Here you can see all the sell orders and all the buy orders that are currently on this coin on the um, exchange. So this is everyone's buy and sell order. So you can go in, you can analyze that and see where certain points are if you want. Again, once you get more familiar, that will start to make more sense. You can see the market depth. So you can see there's a lot more sellers than buyers at the minute. Uh, your open orders. And then this is just a full list of all the trades that have been executed on the market. And you can see your own trades as well. So that's really it on the actual exchange part. Um, then you can go into your deposits and withdrawals and you can add in as much of any currency that you want or you can do your withdrawals from that section as well but I'll do that in a different video this one was more how you can buy and sell on Polo so as I say any questions let me know in the comments down below either on my blog or on YouTube here and give the video a like and a share if you have got value let me know what you'd like to see in future videos subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon thanks for watching